Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I feel like doing something crafty and I went and grabbed these strips that I've been using. I had cut uh, layer cakes into two inch squares and these are the scraps that I had left over and I've been using them in various blocks and I'm going to do something that I'm pretty sure I must have done something like this way back when I was being crafty <laughs> a couple of years ago and I'm going to try again without looking back uh, so I might repeat myself in some ways and in other ways I don't care if I do I have a piece of one-sided iron-on fusible it's like a stabilizer one side is rough that's the glue side we want that facing up and you can cut this piece any size you want when I do these kind of videos, people say, but doesn't that make a very stiff quilt block? Yes, yes it does. And that's why we don't use this in, in quilts, at least what I'm going to do. It's great for other things, especially tote bags, especially if you want a tote bag that has like a bottom and it stands up, that's really cool. It can also be used for pillows, decorative pillows. Um, you could do the front side, with a stabilizer and as a foundation and then the back side could be just fabric or a pillow sham that you know you can stick a, a pillow in there I mean there's just a lot of things wall art I don't know why anybody likes wall art I don't like anything on my walls at all nothing nothing I don't even have window treatments just blinds I don't like anything on a wall <laughs> and um, so you can come up with other ways how about like junk journal book covers that's a good thing right <laughs> and so you can come up with ways and you don't have to um have it be square you could have rectangles you could have a circle you know just do your own thing so what i'm going to do is i thought i would start with like a square um but not square actually kind of like a point and then i'm just going to add strips I might do something a little different along the way, but I think that's how I want to start. And I am going to be using uh, maybe glue. I, I think I'm going to try a couple things for you guys so we can decide what we like best. I am also going to be working with this, which I wish was more narrow. I guess I can cut it. It's pretty wide. It's probably, I don't know, looks like more than a half inch to me. Let's see. Yeah, that's three quarters of an inch wide. This is a tape, fabric tape that you can hem, like hemming tape. You just put it down and you fold your fabric over and then you press and it stays stuck. So we will try that, but I might cut it into a more narrow strip like apparently I did that here. Uh, glue stick would be my preferred way, but my glue stick is pretty dry, so I cannot use that today. We can also just use regular school glue. So I did one piece like that, and I'll show you, and I can show you again how I did it. Oh, it's way over here. And I'm going to sit here with my iron, an ironing board. And yes, somebody commented about this iron, that they have it, and they liked it. And it's at the time, it was only 10 bucks, like for me, and I bought two of them. Because it's one of the only irons I can find that doesn't have the automatic off. I hate that feature because I want to pick that iron up and I want it hot every time. It's not like I'm just, well, sometimes I do leave it on for a long time. But, you know, I, I grew up with an iron that didn't go off all by itself. <laughs> I survived that. So, yeah, Walmart. I'll link to it in the description if it's still available. It's a good little iron. Okay, let's get to this. I would like to start with, uh, um, you know, an angular thing here, like a kind of like, I don't know, something pointed. And I don't know what color I want. Uh, I'd like it to be a little bit kind of wide. I don't know. Let's try maybe this dark piece. Will that be enough? I don't know. I feel like I need another scrap. Let me go look for another scrap. I just went with this, I think it's black, with polka dots. Yeah, I, th I think I, I like this. I have a point, but I would have liked my point maybe higher, but then my little tip here is showing. So I'm just going to go like this. And for the hell of it, I'm going to just press a little bit right there. 
to hopefully stick that without touching, you know, the stabilizer. Is that going to hold that there for a little? Ah, that, that held it there. Okay, now I'm going to build on that. So I'm going to put like a strip here, and then I'll put a strip there. And like I said, I might change things up a little bit. And here's what I did. I want no raw edge. So I just folded that and I put a little bit of Elmer's glue, well I call it Elmer's, just white school glue and I held that down. You can absolutely do that and I will do one to show you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up here somewhat evenly and I'm going to press here to hold that down. Now I will be stitching on that edge. It could have been a raw edge but I just kind of want it to have a finished look. And I thought maybe I can, I don't know, even just do some zigzag or something decorative. But for now, I'm just going to hold this down a little bit. Doesn't take too much. And I can trim that off a little like that. I'm not sure that this is going to do what I, I thought it would do. I wanted to build in that direction. Maybe we could create another angle somewhere. I don't know. Let's just go with it. Now, I'll show you how I did the, the glue part. I just, uh, I think I, I fold first. Oh, you know what? I could do that with the iron, couldn't I? Just going to fold down first. I don't care if it's straight or crooked or whatever. That might even just be enough right there. Might not even need any glue. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it would need to be glued, but I need to know why I'm not getting the angles that I want. I don't know, maybe I'll put that one this way. I'm going to try this one with no glue at all. And I'll just trim that off. I don't know. That was worth trimming. Let's see if this helps here. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no plan. And some people are bothered by that. But I want you to know you have the right to sit down with no plan. Okay, I think that that's going to stay folded and I don't think we have to worry about it. I'm still not getting the angles that I want. So, 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 but let's put another piece. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll figure something out along the way. How about like this? Well, somewhere here. Now I will show you how I did it with glue. You can just run a bead of glue, you know, all along, down. i got to open it up. <laughs> open it up more. It's already drying. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun doing stuff like this with me? And I don't normally do this on my ironing board, but I'm going to just fold it over. And, you know, it's not as tacky as a, a glue stick. And it's not working at all right now. But you can do that if you have the patience. And I, I have no patience for this. And I think I'm going to angle it like this. And just kind of follow that line. I don't know. It'll be interesting, won't it, to see what we do? Going to press. So far, the white glue is my least favorite way. I really wanted like it pointed like this, like an arrow. See, I don't want to go in like this direction. I don't want an angle like that and then like that. That doesn't work that way. Hmm. 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 I'm just going to keep building and, and not worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and just do the folding and let's try the that little fusible tape and see if we like that. 
So I'm just folding it to get a crease. And then if you really want it secure, you can get some of this stuff and then just iron on that. You put it in between the pieces. Yeah, that works really, really good. I liked that. And I think I'm going to like flare out a little bit like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I was frustrated there, did, you know, did you hear the frustration because I didn't know what I was doing? That's okay. It is okay to not know. Maybe could I introduce a little bit of this color? Ooh, look, look, I have a different angle happening here a little bit. There's the point I want. See? But I don't want that piece that close to that. That's what I need to have happening. Let me go pull another uh, bigger piece out of my scrap box. Okay, I pressed just this corner. This is how I'm going to figure out if I like this or not. Let's see, I'm going to fold it down. Let's pretend I have it like that. Ooh, see, I think I'll like that. That's going to make more of a, a corner for me. Maybe I can fold it down even a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. So now, so what does that mean? I'm going to, I want this top piece like this. I'm just going to trim this. It's a scrap anyway. And I can like cut here on the fold. Get rid of this guy. Oh, but I didn't allow, oh, that can be a raw edge, but I want this edge folded under. Okay, so I can do that, can't I? I'm going to fold that edge under. I think I'll put a piece of this. I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise. Doesn't take much, just a little piece. And I'll rip it off. I don't want it sticking to my iron. Whoops, and I kind of did. Now, hmm, that's all right. You know what? I'm going to on purpose do this. It's going to give us another little angle here that we'll put something. Uh, I'm going to just tack this down here a little bit. Just enough to make it stick a little bit. And how about, oh, look, I have this piece left over of this red that already has... Um, the edge glued down. Is that going to stick on there good? And then let's let's finish off that corner with this guy. So I'm just going to tack it down a little bit. And that one was done too. So see, I didn't throw away my scraps. That's a good thing. Now I'll just Trim that like that. And that's on there enough. Now we're going to go this way, then that way, and I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. I want this again. How about I... It fits there, so let's do it there. It's not like me to repeat like it right now because it's convenient. How about some blue? We'll do that there. And I think I'll go ahead and do the whole piece because I know I can cut and reuse. that. And if I'm afraid it's going to get too thick here, I can, you know, follow that line. I'm going to do another piece in this direction. Instead of 
overlapping back and forth. Maybe it'll be cool. What did I do there? Something got stuck on that piece of fabric. I'm going to do another one. Not, not one that we've already done. Oh, we can do this one. We can do that. See, and before I even press it, I will I'll follow that line like that and press. You know, we could add threads to this, shreds, fabric shreds. We can do so many things. And I am going to be showing you some no-sew projects. I could show you how to do this exact same thing but with no sewing. So subscribe and you'll never see it. <laughs> Is this going to be long enough if I want this yellow? Oh, it will. I think we need that yellow. Oh, I, I am sorry. I'm at the camera. That's all right. Let's do this part. I'm going to fold, press, add some of this. I'm going to cut lengthwise. This is cool stuff, man. Just tucking it under there. I don't don't I just don't want it to stick out and stick to my iron. Now let's bring this back into your view and I'm going to uh, put that here. Likey so. Do I want to repeat that guy again? He's so convenient. He's right there and ready. What else can I Oh, we don't have anything like, well, let's see, I don't want that one there, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got, we got purple. I like that. Got two of them. Joe is making a crackling noise. I don't know what he's doing. Or did I want another one like this? Let's do another one like this, I think. Oh my god, I know what that crackling noise is. Hang on. I knew Joe was napping because we're going out tonight. So I couldn't understand why there was something crackling. And I was simmering chicken gizzards for Rocket. I cook gizzards and then I cut them up in little fine pieces and add that to his food. And he loves them. And I had let the, uh, the pot run out of water. So I got a nice little scrubbing that I'm going to need to do. I'm glad I realized what it was. And so I'm going to put this here and do this. And I love chicken gizzards, but I found that they actually uh, cause joint pain for me. They're not supposed to, but they do. Okay, so here, here we go. I'm going to add this purple here. Maybe like Hmm, maybe like that. I don't know. I hate when I don't know what I'm doing, which is so often. Let's just go with that. We'll, we'll deal. We'll deal with it. And I'm going to, like, follow this line here. We'll be covering that up. Should I maybe put something here again now? I'm going to build here again. My gut is telling me to do a that. I would like to reintroduce this, but it's not long enough. Ooh, maybe like that. Oh look, I think that's going to work for me, but I'm going to trim it down. But I'm going to want this edge to be hemmed. Let's just call it that. And I just don't feel like using that, that tape. I knew I'd get sick of that real quick. So I'm just going to use the glue. I would absolutely be using a glue stick. It's my favorite way. Okay, that's going to be cool. But then, oh! I could just leave that angle. I don't know. I'm going with, with this right here. Cool. That's kind of cool. Let's get rid of this right here. And 
I could do that there. Can we do that? Let's do that. And blue. And add here. I'm going to follow this line here. Let me just get rid of that. And now I can finish that corner off. I think this will fit at some point. I don't know that it necessarily fits yet, or this would fit. Maybe that corner could end with this, because I got it on this side there. So we need something, though, to fit here. I'm going to do a different piece. I'm going to do maybe something a little darker. How about we do this blue stripe? I like that. I don't have the little feet um, up on my on this ironing board because the little plastic pieces fell and it just scratches everything, so it wobbles when I lean on it. And then did we say this? Is it going? Ah, it's not going to cover it. Crap. Okay. It's surprising how much you need. All right. So we're going to. Um, I don't know. Both of those corners need something wider, or they need, um, yeah, I need a wider strip. Let's finish this corner off with this purple. Wait, wasn't there a piece that I cut? Where did that go? Right here. Will this work somehow? <gasps> yes, 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 it will. Okay, so I just need to fold this edge down. We have one more corner to do, and I wasn't happy with the fact that it's not quite wide enough. Do I have something wider? Uh, do I want to go with the black? I can, right? I can since it's right here and it's handy. Is that going to all fit? If you want to make sure, you turn it upside down and they say, yeah, that looks like it'll fit. Ooh, these guys are flapping around, They're having a grand old time. Okay, that angle should work. I'm going to press right here. And I'm going to do this right here. As long as it's covering that corner. Oh yes, it is, it is. Let's just leave that there for a second. I don't think I want to do the stitching. How about I make this a part two? Uh, because because I have to go out. <laughs> I didn't think this would take this long, but I, I'm very anxious to finish this. So here's the deal. I'm going to actually stop at this point. I'm not even trimming, nothing. And we will pick up on the next video. I'll be happy to finish this tomorrow. I promise you it'll look okay. And then I do want to do some stitching to show you what we can do. This is what you got so far, right? The hot mess from the woman who doesn't know what she's doing. But I'm telling you, once this is trimmed, trimmed always makes the magic happen, right? All right. Subscribe so you can see the rest of this mess and see how I uh, redeem myself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.